Program usage instructions for online courses by IFU Sprachling. Welcome our future students to participate in the online course. Follow these instructions. One logging in, getting the link by email, getting the link in student's e-cabinet, browser login, identification, getting the link. You should receive a link to join the lesson from the IFU Sprachling Administrator. This link and password will be sent to you by email or you can found it in your personal account. Browser login. Open the provided link. Google Chrome's latest version is recommended for the best compatibility. Identification. Enter your first and last name in the login field to be displayed in the participant list. This helps the teacher and other students know who you are. Use the password from your email in the password field. To audio and video setup, audio option selection, microphone testing, enabling video. Audio option selection. On your first login, you'll be asked how you'd like to connect to audio. Choose use microphone to participate in dialogues or listen only to just hear what's happening. Microphone testing. If you've chosen to use a microphone, you'll be prompted to test it. Follow on-screen instructions to ensure your microphone is working correctly. You'll need to grant permission for your browser or phone to use the microphone. To enable video, click on the camera icon in the interface. You can choose which camera to use if you have multiple options. There's also a blur background or change background option in the settings menu. 3. Participating in the lesson. Chat. Raising hand. Use the chat window for text communication with the teacher and other course participants. Pay attention to chat for important messages and assignments. Use the raise hand feature to ask questions or make suggestions. This sends a notification to the teacher, who can then give you the floor. 4. Interactive features, participating in polls, group work, working with tools. Your teacher may create polls to gather opinions or check knowledge. Actively participate by selecting answers in polls. For group assigned assignments, you may be split into breakout rooms where you can discuss the task in a small group. Use chat and audio video communication within the group. Working with tools, your teacher may allow you to draw and write on the board. 5. Ending the lesson. Logging out. Don't forget to properly log out of the system by clicking the log out button or closing the Browser tab when the lesson ends. Six, additional tips, technical preparation, attention and participation, using program features, respect and etiquette, interaction with the teacher, technical preparation, Check your equipment and internet connection in advance to avoid technical issues during the lesson. Ensure your microphone, webcam, and speakers or headphones are working correctly. Try to actively participate in the lesson, ask questions, and share ideas. It's important to be engaged, not just present. Using program features, Familiarize yourself with the big blue button interface and available features before the lesson starts. This will make it easier to navigate and use all the program's learning capabilities. 
Respect and etiquette. Follow common etiquette rules during the online lesson. Listen respectfully and use the raise hand function to speak. If you have questions about the lesson material or technical problems, you can write to office at ifu instituteat and our administrator will assist you. 7. After the lesson. Materials for the lesson. Homework. You can find additional materials in your student's cabinet. Make sure you understand all the homework requirements discussed during the lesson. Start working on them early to avoid last-minute stress. Following these detailed instructions and tips, you can make the most of the Big Blue button for IFU Scratchland online lessons and ensure effective learning. Our contacts.